SurrealDB now has an official OpenAPI specification thanks to community member PHUK. This allows a lot of downstream tooling to be built on top of SurrealDB, for example, composed APIs like with GraphQL, uh, SDK auto generation, documentation generation, and things like that. To demonstrate how useful this OpenAPI schema is, I have this repo pulled up called openapi.tools and it's connected to this website with the same name. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but this goes through a lot of tooling around the OpenAPI ecosystem. As you could imagine, this list is not exhaustive, but uh, it, it has a lot of really useful tools in here. For example, security tooling, monitoring, gateways, documentation, like I mentioned. There's uh, details about GitOps and Kubernetes. Very cool stuff in this repo. I'll show you an extension I've found useful for OpenAPI, which is this OpenAPI Swagger Editor extension. So as you can see, I have the schema pulled up here. Actually, what I did was I cloned that SurrealDB slash OpenAPI repo shown at the beginning of the video. That's what these files are here. And I just opened up this uh, OpenAPI.yaml file. This is the actual spec. So as you can see, there's some metadata about the API. The endpoints are outlined here and the OpenAPI schema version is outlined here. I won't demonstrate all of the features of this extension, but I do wanna go through a couple things with it. First of all, it gives you an outline of your schema, which is pretty similar to the VS Code outline here. So here's the VS Code outline and the outline given by the extension. One of my favorite features about this extension is that it provides you with uh, some documentation preview. And you might've seen UI like this, uh, for example, Swagger and Redoc, you've probably seen it looking through documentation, but I'll demonstrate that here. So first of all, just to show you the Swagger UI for this schema, pull it up here. Uh, this gives you all of the endpoints as well as the corresponding HTTP verb. Super, super clean. Uh, and this it's similar for the Redoc, uh, Redoc style. Really, it comes down to a difference in CSS more, more than anything, but again, clean outline of your API. And this is just the tip of the iceberg with OpenAPI tooling. Also, SurrealDB is planning on releasing an official GraphQL API connected to the SurrealDB server. It's been on the roadmap for a long time, so keep an eye out for that for more related tooling. And I didn't really go through the endpoints in great detail yet here, but as you can see, it covers all the basics you'd expect. So you've got like the surreal QL uh, endpoints, you have authentication, things like that. Also a fun fact, the initial generation of this spec was through ChatGPT. So in this commit here, you can see add ChatGPT generated open API spec. And here is the outline.